It was the perfect setup for a candid confession, the First Lady offering her initial feelings about what it was like jumping into a campaign. I was scared. Uh, I was worried that I'd say the wrong thing. (laughs) I was nervous that someone might ask a question that I didn't know the answer to. Uh, And I have a tendency to do that thing a lot of women do, where you get 99 things right, but then you stress and beat yourself up over the one thing you mess up. Mrs. Obama is seemingly putting aside her fears of messing up to try to save the Democrats from losing their majority. Just days now before the midterm elections, Mrs. Obama's West Coast swing is grabbing headlines. I could go on all night about Michelle Obama. Arguably the most vilified Democrat by conservatives, sharing the stage with the one who's become most beloved. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi basked in Michelle Obama's light and popularity. The First Lady implored female voters to come back into the fold, vote for the Democrats in trouble, who are supporting Obama's agenda. When I was on the campaign trail beforehand, I looked many of you in the eye. And I said, if I give my husband to you, you've got to have his back. The unique Democratic duo proved together they could bring in the cold cash, Their San Francisco fundraiser netted $1.6 million for Democratic candidates. Several dozen attendees paid more than $30,000 each for some private time with the First Lady. And Mrs. Obama is sticking to the script, highlighting the plight of struggling military spouses to implore women to get involved in the political process. As women, I know that we all can relate to everything I've described today. We get it. That feeling of being pulled in all directions, that nagging sense that you're falling short both at work and at home, that tendency to worry about and care for everyone but yourself. These things are universal. We'll be following every step of the First Lady's West Coast swing. Her next stop, a taping on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. Suzanne Malvo, CNN, Los Angeles.